Chess friends, welcome to our today's genius chess video, today I played with Magnus Carlsen with black pieces and he defeat me, what, what did I say right now, you will see at the end of the video who will lose who, let's go, he started with e4, we have e6, French defense, d4 by Magnus, I played d5, in French you have c5 line, supported by the bishop, queen here to create pressure on these pawns diagonally, knight here to join the battle, so, we have knight to c3, knight f6, he could play e6. Then knight back to prepare for c5 with supporting of the knight and the bishop, so, Magnus played bishop to g5, pinning the knight to the queen and he is threatening to play e5, so bishop here, e5, knight back to d7, targeting to the bishop, if the bishop moves back, then it will be harassing moment for the bishop, because he runs two times away, so, in this position, you can also play h4, but that's the part of another day, so, Magnus takes the bishop, queen takes, knight here, a6, bishop comes, c5 by me. Magnus takes the pawn, I could take the pawn with knight to target the bishop, but here I choose to play queen takes, c5, castle, h6, rook joins, knight develops, here I want to play castle, then b5, Magnus played a3, castle, knight back to a2. You might think why Magnus retreats his knight, because he want to make queenside expansion with his pawns, I played queen b6, to target this pawn, Magnus played b4, queen to c7, targeting this pawn with three pieces, queen to e2, I played b5, I want to play f6. Another strategy is to play bishop here, but that isn't a good move, knight back to c1, Magnus wants to play knight here to put pressure on c5, and d4, ok, f6, targeting the pawn with the pawn and other three pieces, so pawn takes pawn, rook takes f6, to protect the pawn, Magnus played a4, threatening the pawn, if you take it, then you will lose your rook, so, pawn takes, rook takes a4, now Carlson's tactic is to play b5, if takes then rook takes rook, then rook b8, targeting on this pawn, so after b5. We have knight c5, to target the rook, in this position, Magnus could play rook to h4, let me show you the variation, if it happen, then pawn takes, bishop takes, knight back to d8, c4, after pawn takes there is bishop takes, black will face some light square weakness, so, back to the position, but Magnus takes the knight, instead of saving the rook, so I take the rook which is the Magnus Carlsen's gift, now my strategy is to play knight here, then rook to b1, then push the a pawn, because it's a passed pawn. Magnus played knight e5, his strategy is to play queen here, then knight g4, to target the rook, if the rook moves away any of these square, then queen g6, then knight takes check, pawn can't take it because it's pinned to the king, king slides, then queen h7 checkmate, with the supporting of the bishop, I calculate all these variations because I am smarter than 100 Magnus Carlsen, I played rook to b1 as my plan, knight here, then push the apast pawn. Magnus played c3, targeting on this rook, do your best Magnus, go and take my rook, he says no, Magnus queen is more worthy than the rook, so, queen to h5, he want to play knight here to target the rook, if the rook falls back then queen here, knight takes check and king slides then queen checkmate on h7, so, in this position, we have rook a1, knight g4, rook back to f8, queen on g6, if you play 200 elo move a5, then knight takes check, king slides, then queen h7 checkmate, so, in this position, we have knight to a4. Blocking the bishop's diagonal, here you can play knight takes pawn check, king slides, then just move back your knight, you have queen check line and won a pawn, but in this position, Magnus played g3, second best line, getting a safe place for the king, and if you play very normal like a5, then king here, a6, then Magnus will sacrifice his rook by taking the knight, pawn takes, bishop takes, he have queen h7 check and this position is 0 0, and chess friends, if you want to smart in chess, then you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more episodes. So, back to the position, here I played e5, knight takes h6 check. King slides away, bishop takes, threatening 1800 elo checkmate, so, I have to take the bishop first, now, the knight is trapped, 
the knight can't move because of the bishop, and the rook, you might say knight g5 can be happen, but if it happen, then bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes c6, threatening the knight with the rook and the queen, so queen g5 to protect it, queen c2 to grab it, rook f1, queen to c5, threatening to play e5, so king g2, threatening to take the knight, if rook takes, then rook takes check. Let me show you, if h3, then queen takes rook, rook takes c1, rook takes pawn check, king backs, rook takes rook and checkmate, so, back to the position, here we have queen h5, pawn takes, queen takes check, if you think queen h7, let me show you the variation, if queen h7 happen, then Magnus will play queen takes f8 check and mate, so back to the position, we have king g8, we have rook takes e4, queen g7, queen to d2, queen f6, my plan is to play bishop here, then queen f3, to checkmate Magnus. Magnus brings back his rook, e5, you cannot take the pawn, if you take the pawn, then rook takes c1, queen takes, queen takes f2 and here queen check, king slides, queen takes rook, and I have three pieces while he have only one, that's enough to win the game, so, in this position, we have h3, bishop takes, queen here, a5, c7, a4, queen here, a5, look at my past pawn run like a marathon champion, king here, bishop, backs, king backs, king g7, queen here, bishop g4, you might think why not Magnus is taking the e-pawn, but, if he do it, then queen takes check, king slides, rook h8 check and mate, so, in this position, we have queen c5, a2, queen here, threatening to promote the pawn with a discover check, so, king up to g6, queen backs, bishop here, threatening to play rook here, then rook checkmate, so, queen f4, queen takes, pawn takes, rook to h8, threatening this, so pawn check, king f7, pawn promotion, rook h1 check and mate. Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.